The basic idea that we've used for a long time is bait goes in the front of the trap. Mr. Lobster says, great, I'd like to eat some of that. He pokes his head in here, his claws go together, they push together, he goes through the hole. <laughs> Theoretically, he's supposed to eat and then keep going back, pushing his claws together. We've, this is the idea we've had forever. But between 20 and 50 or so lobsters that walk in and eat his lunch, he can very easily turn around and walk back out. Um, so we only catch a very small percentage of the lobsters um, that come into the traps and eat. And what's important about that um, sustainability-wise is that if we kept every lobster that went into the trap, we wouldn't have any more lobsters. It takes seven years for a lobster to become legal size to harvest. So we feed them for seven years. You can't keep lobsters that are too small, uh, here about a pound. Uh, you can't keep lobsters that are too big, over about, oh, three and a half pounds, I'd say. Um, that protects both the new lobsters coming into the fishery and it also protects the old breeders. They exponentially have more eggs. The lobsterman is allowed to have, have 800 traps for the most part, um, in the state of Maine, these traps cost anywhere from fifty to hundred dollars a piece. They lose, depending if they have a good year or a bad year. A conservative estimate would be maybe five percent of their traps per year. If you think about Casco Bay, it's estimated to have five hundred thousand traps fished out here every summer. Think about twenty-five thousand of these sitting on the bottom. Everything is just getting big to the point where the X vessel value of the lobster fishery last year was around $500 million.